Hello, and thank you for watching my video on matrices in R. I will show you how to build a matrix in R and how to use some basic matrix calculus. Let's get to work. So a very intuitive way of creating a matrix in R is to simply write matrix. And then you specify the data vector that you would like to enter as components of your matrix. So say that it's um, a vector V uh, which uh, of size M times N. And then you specify the number of rows. And for this, you write N row, number of rows. Say that we want to have M number of rows. Then you specify n call equals. This is the number of columns. And you write n. And there is, it's useless, it's, it would be redundant to specify both, right? The number of rows and the number of columns. So it's actually sufficient to specify one of the two. one of the two. And then finally you specify by row equals. And here you write true if you want to read, you want R to read your numbers here uh, in the V vector uh, row wise. And you write false otherwise. So let's um, Let's be more specific on this uh, by row because it's, it seems still a little bit, it may seem a little bit abstract. So here it is what, what I mean by uh, by row and uh, by, the tr by row true and false. So if I specify true, then uh, it means that I want my, my uh, uh, matrix to have the V elements to, to, go, to go like this, V1, then V2, etc., until V, we said that we have N columns, so until Vn, then it continues here, Vn plus 1, Vn plus 2, etc., etc., until V2n, and so on. Now, I will specify false if I want my matrix to take the uh, the the elements of of my v vector uh, in this direction, column wise. Meaning that first we have v1, v2, until v m, then v m plus one. Vm plus 2, etc., until V2m, and so on. And if you do not specify anything uh, in by row, you, you can do this, it's not mandatory to specify your, your by row input. Uh, if you do not specify, the default will be false. That's the default in, in R. Let's see immediately an example. Here it is. Write a code. Let's write a code that creates this matrix. So I open my R console and let's write matrix. We said that we use this um, function matrix. And then we have what? What do we have in, uh, in this matrix? I have a sequence of integers from 1 to 12, right? And then how many rows do we have? We have four rows. And the numbers, how do they appear? I want the, my, the elements of my data vector to go row-wise, right? So I write that by row is equal to true. <coughs> and indeed, I have this uh, matrix that, that I have in the exercise, right? Now let's take 
Um, another another example. Uh, by the way, let me just copy and paste the uh, the, the the R code and and uh, output. Here you go. And now, uh, here is the other example. I have, I have now this matrix in which the uh, the um, the elements uh, the, the the sequence of one through twelve go column wise, right? So again, I open R and I create my matrix. Again. I have the same sequence as above. I can actually uh, go back to my previous code. I again have four rows, but this time I want the numbers to appear uh, column-wise. So I write by row equals false. And indeed, that's the, the matrix that I wanted to, to that I wanted to have in my exercise. It's we said that it's not mandatory to specify by row. It's optional. We already have a matrix that uh, that is um, so. But it uh, in R by row defaults to false. So if I don't specify it, I have the same matrix, right? Here you go. And now, if I want what what how to refer to an element in, in inside the matrix um, by by the row number and the column number. So it's in R it's very simple, you just use brackets. And how how to use them? Well, you first specify the matrix name. Then the row number and the column number. So let's see an example. Here is the uh, the example. I have this matrix, and I would like to display the element in the second row and first column. So basically, it's four, right? And then I would like to, in the second part, I would like the last two elements in the second column, right? So let's 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 do this in in um, in R. I go back to my R console. I cre first create this matrix. We have a matrix in which I have numbers, uh, consecutive integers from one to uh, through nine. I have three uh, rows, and I uh, the numbers appear uh, row wise. So I write um, by row equals two. And um, and then I let's um, display. That's right. That's correct. And I would like first the um, the element in the second row and first column. Right. I use brackets, and I indeed have four that I wanted uh, to have. Right. And then I would like in the B part. I would like that the last two elements, so I first uh, specify the, the column, second column, and last two elements, it's, well, basically the second and the third element, so I can simply write, I can even enter a column, uh, a data vector, I can enter a data vector inside the, uh, the brackets, right, it's, it's a data vector that I entered, two and three, and I indeed have five and eight that I wanted to have. Here you go. And finally, how to do how to uh, combine matrix? Say that you already have uh, data vectors ready to use, and you would like to paste them. Uh, you you would like to combine them. Well, uh, you use either C bind or R bind, depending on what you want to do. Let's start with the C bind. So say that you have you have um, you have data vectors or matrices that you would like to uh, so matrices or vectors 
that you would like to paste side by side. Then you use CBind and then you specify the data vectors or matrices. And so, so for example, yes, uh, say that you have uh, say that you have three data vectors, uh, and you would like them in this way. You would like to paste them one below the other one. Uh, no, sorry, uh, side by side, uh, side by side. X, Y, Z to appear like this. Now, uh, the, the data vectors X, Y, Z will autom if you write C bind, they will be transformed into column vectors and pasted uh, side by side. And if you want now the data vectors or matrices to appear one below the other one, you will use R bind. Here uh, you want them below one another. And you specify, you write R bind and you specify the data vectors that you want to paste one below the other one. Uh, say that you have again three data vectors and you would like this time, you would like the output to be like this, X, Y, Z. Here, the three uh, data vectors will be uh, left as rows if you specify or bind, and the row um, data vectors will be pasted one below the other one. Let's see immediately an example. Here it is. We have three um, three vectors x, y, z. And first, we would like them to appear side by side. So I write, I specify my x vector. Well, it's actually just a, a sequence of three integers, one, two, three. Then y is 0 0.21, 0 0.5. And z is one two one zero two. And first in the A part I would like XYZ to appear side by side. So I write C bind and automatic automatically uh, these X Y Z's will be transformed into, into column vectors and they will be pasted um, side by side. That's right, this is what we wanted. And in the B part, this time I would like to uh, to have the these uh, the trans x transposed uh, and below x transposed I would like to have a y transposed and below y transposed I would like to have z transposed. So I write or bind x y z and this time indeed I have. Uh, one, two, three, the first uh, uh, vector x, as uh, uh, interpreted as a, as a row vector because I wrote root or bind, and then the y um, data vector and uh, the, the z data vector uh, below one another. All right. And still, something else that you want to do with matrices. Is, is the following, you would like to do some matrix calculus, right? So how to, how to, how to multiply the matrices, how to take the sum, etc. I only um, show you five basic uh, operations within matrix uh, calculus, but uh, using these, you can basically do everything um, in linear algebra, so so here they are. Say that you have two matrices A and B, and you would like to take the sum. Of course, the dimensions are such that uh, you, you you can indeed take the sum of the of the of A and B. Dimensions are compatible. Uh, then you simply write that uh, you, you in R 
you write A plus B. If you want to take the product this time, you would like A times B. Then you will write A percentage star percentage B. Now, if you want to take the determinant of a matrix, you write simply that. Now, say that you want to invert the matrix A, a square matrix. Then you will write solve, that's less intuitive than the previous ones, solve and parenthesis A. And if you want to take the transpose of a matrix, uh, I don't know what is your notation for transpose. I use the prime notation, A um, prime. In R, you write TA. Let's see immediately on an exercise. Here it is. Let's write a code that takes this matrix A, that um, builds this matrix A. Uh, we have inside 1, 3, 5, 2. We have two rows. And I don't need to specify the by row because we already have uh, the, the, the elements here are specified column-wise. And then I would like to take the sum A plus A. So I write A plus A. And indeed, I have the sum of A and A. Now, say that I would like to take the square of A. Now, take care. The square of A, uh, well, um, in linear algebra, it means A uh, times A. Uh, you cannot write A squared in R. It will be something different. So you need to write, uh, sorry, uh, percentage star percentage A. And you will have, indeed, the uh, product A times A. And now, what else? We would like to have the we would like to calculate the determinant of a. So here you go, minus thirteen. Now, how about the inverse? I write solve a, and I have the inverse. And finally, the uh, transpose of a. So I write t a. Here you go. Um, let me. Just uh, save it here. Here you go. The five basic um, basic uh, matrix um, operations. Thank you very much for uh, watching, and good luck with the uh, matrix calculus.